So, uh, you guys probably have heard this story um, floating around the internet about Southwest Airlines and their customer of size policy. The story goes that a woman on one of these short form content creation sites uh, walks up to a counter, tells uh, the, the woman at the counter that she is looking to use Southwest Airlines customer size policy and they hand her a free ticket. You guys know that travel by airplane, how expensive that can be. Um, so, I, I, you know, I just wanted to kind of talk about this from the perspective of somebody who occasionally gets on airplanes uh, as somebody who is six foot three inches tall. So you guys know what that means. <laughs> Leg room is probably not going to be great uh, for me. So there are a bunch of uh, articles on the internet. Um, I'm going to link to an article in Time Magazine uh, in the description that gives you the size policies for a bunch of different airlines. Now Southwest stands out among these airlines as basically giving free seats to people. And come on, seats on airplanes are expensive. Depending on where you're going, it can be anywhere between a couple of hundred dollars to <laughs> up in the four figures. Southwest Airlines is basically rewarding people for their lack of discipline. Uh, in the time magazine article they said since the 1960s the number of obese people in the u.s age 20 and above has increased from just 10 percent of the population to some 42 percent by 2020 so you're talking about a period of about 55 60 years and the ratio has quadrupled more than quadrupled so as a professional in the fitness industry, I've been privy to all of the excuses in the book about genetics and special health issues. Genetics isn't causing four out of 10, four and a half out of 10 people to be overweight or obese. Right, we know that these genetic anomalies are 1%, 2% in most cases. Uh, the, the problem is we, we're just not disciplined as a society. And I think that by giving people free things because they lack discipline, <laughs> it definitely sends the wrong message uh, in society. You know, one of the, the thoughts that came to my mind is you go to a restaurant and the food costs a certain amount of money. Do we have the obese person come in and then they just get free food because they don't feel full <laughs> on the same amount of food as somebody else? I don't know. So uh, with these airlines, most airlines require that a person who is overweight either purchase another seat with a seat belt extender or upgrade to another class of seat that offers more room. Now, when we go traveling, the three of us in our home, and we go places, our seats, if we're going to sit together, end up costing more because I need more leg room. So the ladies who are a foot shorter or more <laughs> than myself, if they want to sit next to me in the same row, we pay extra even for the two ladies that don't need any extra room. Because I just cannot be cramped up. You know, hips start locking up, legs start feeling funny. It's a whole thing. 
where's my free seat as a customer of size that can't do anything about his size? Like, I mean, I could get a surgery where they could break my legs to make me shorter. I could do that. Or we can say, hey, person without discipline, uh, eat and move like a normal person. In one of the articles that I saw, uh, the you know, this particular person um, by the name of Barb Herrera. <laughs> Uh, celebrates this policy talking about how you know the the airline will quietly reimburse us larger folks after our flight yeah you know we're getting special accommodations <laughs> but they could not help victimizing themselves the quote here from this person flying is one of the most humiliating experiences for people with obesity the disdain and even hate coming from other passengers who pray they don't have to sit next to you and get your fat cooties. It's an experience I've had enough of in my life and I hope I never experience again. The disdain and hate coming from other passengers who have to sit next to you is because they have to make physical contact with another person without their consent. As a woman, I, I think that you should understand what what it's like to not be happy or to not want somebody to make physical contact with you without your consent. And flying on airplanes is stressful for a lot of people. And then to have somebody without discipline it just encroach upon you and there's no recourse. Yeah, they're going to be upset about it. And it's not about your cooties. Because the person that you're encroaching upon will not magically become obese because they sat next to you on a plane. Is that you're inconveniencing other people and you don't care. And the only thing that you have to do is live like you have some sense. That's all you have to do. Not overeat and move. That's all you got to do. But no. Uh, it's it's all about uh, you being a victim uh, when you made the choices that you made in your life. Here on TSP, uh, we don't we don't stand for making excuses uh, for people's poor decisions in life. Um, here, we advocate that people do everything that they can to treat the the one body that you have with treat it with respect. And it just so happens that when you're in close proximity to other people, when you treat your own body with respect, you're also treating other people's bodies with respect by not encroaching upon them. In the comment section down below, I would like to know what your opinion of this story is. What has been your experience being uh, on airplanes, uh, both as regular sized people uh tall people or oversized people do you believe that passengers should get free seats for being overweight sound off down below and i'll see you in the next one